always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, you may have been introduced to him before, but this is Dalton. He's actually uh, Kenny. If you've seen Kenny on our channel before, this is Kenny's son, Dalton. Uh, Dalton's working with us now. We're training him up. Uh, we're in truck number 10, our little single axle Peterbilt 337 with a 20-ton 40-24 century uh, towing recovery unit. We got to go pick up a uh, road tractor, tandem axle road tractor in Cape, and haul it to one of the local Cummins dealers. So not a big deal, but good training opportunity here. So away we go. Howdy, sir. Do what, sir? I guess we're going to take this down to Cummins for you. Uh, what's wrong with it? Um, the depth is not uh, registered. It's not, it's okay. Not got gotcha. you. Yeah. Depth issues, man. I hate them. That, that's probably 75% of what we tow for now is deaf issues uh can i is it okay if i pull it forward a little bit yeah that's right. okay cool thank you all right thank you sir appreciate it Reduced due to SCR system fault. That would be why she needs to go to the dealer. That gives us more room to play with. And we're not blocking anybody's driveway. Never done this before. Nope. So towing one from the back, it's fairly straightforward and simple. Depending on how it's set up here, we can grab a hold of the U-bolts, grab a hold of the frame, grab a hold of the axle, grab a hold of the tires. Uh, uh, no, huh? Nope. Uh, we will need chains, yes. There's a special set of chains that we use to chain up the axle with, so let's go ahead and get those. You're not familiar with this truck yet, so. Anytime you tow one from the rear, if it's an air ride, you want to suspend. Ah. 
you want to hold up the uh, front drive axle. You're going to lift on the rear drive axle, but you want to you want to hold this up so that it's not uh, grabbing on just the air ride. Otherwise, the only thing holding it is a shock. Okay. Okay. These are special chains. Loops on the back of the spring there. It has two hooks, so you can take one hook to grab a hold of the frame, and the other hook rest that chain on. to take the slack out of the chain. Okay. All right. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you need to get it take as many lengths out as you can that way when we lift up on this it tightens tightens that and it holds the axle up just take that and loop it under the under back of the spring okay. and then take care of one that. there and then take up the slack yep Right in there. Now hold pressure against it. Yep. Take one chain. Yep, there you go. And take that and put your take your slack. Pull it as tight as you can get. There you go. That's it. Okay. That's that's all there is to it. Okay. Used to uh, before they came out with these, this was a handy invention. Before they came out with these, we used to take a 20 foot long chain and loop it around. You'd have to crawl underneath yeah. and it was a pain in the butt. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Those things are a whole lot easier. Alright, let me see what we got to hook to. Uh, oh, oh no darn Kenworth I don't think we'll be able to get the U-bolt cups we'll try it but... alright take these off these can go any of four ways they can go low like that or up like this and they can go in to where you can get a narrower pick or out what we're doing is we're going to switch sides okay. i'm going to take this one that you've got and you're going to take that one because we need a wide grab and put our pins back in and i'm hoping i can grab a hold of the u-bolts without hitting the uh, airbag pedestals Say, are the U bag U bolts over here? Yep, there's the U bolt cups. I'll probably have to come back first. Yep, I'm not, not close enough. trick is to see if I can grab it with the U-bolts and miss all this other stuff. Kenworths, yep, I'm off. Huh? Kenworths are, can be a pain, yeah. All right, see how I'm, I'm off, well, I'm off center. The T-head's gonna hit. I need to square up with it just a little bit. May end up having to uh, frame fork it. I'm almost betting we do, but we'll see. Yep. 
pretty close. U-bolt cups, they're designed quite literally to just grab a hold of the U-bolt. Okay. They'll go up right there. If you can get yours lined up, let me get under here and see. This is good that it's on a side street so you can yeah. get a good idea. And don't get your fingers caught in there. Yeah, this needs to slide in a little bit. Does it? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, hold on, look. No, that's the wrong bolt. You need to go this way. right here. See this one right here? Not this, that's the uh, shock okay. bolt. Yep. Yeah, you know, you want that one right there that your hand's on. Yep, that's it. That's one you're at. You need to go out, there you go. All right, now watch your fingers, pull your hands out, and I will, uh, yeah, move, take your hands all the way off, please. Scoot your T head out just a little bit. My hands are off the remote buttons. Okay. Okay, that's all right. I can probably still grab it. All right, watch your hands. We got it, and we are clear of shock bolts and airbag bolts. We are good. All right, so we were able to clear it. Now watch what happens whenever we lift. Since we lift this, it will tighten the chains on the front axle. And then it doesn't overextend the airbags. Okay. Okay? That's, that's exactly what those are for. Okay. All right, now we need safety chains. Um, there's two single hook 3 8 chains that we use to tie the axles with. Grab those and I'll work on uh, the steering wheel while you're doing that. <clears throat> nice clean truck. You don't want to go to that lever. I don't want to go to that lever because that's the seat raise and lower. And I don't like that either. Okay, so right there. There's a cross brace. That will work. You want to go to the solid base of the seat. don't want the steering wheel turning while you're going down the road. All right, that should be good and then I'll show Dalton. Yep, you got him. Yep. Yep. No, you're good. You got it. Do what? Okay. Yep. All right. On a rear toe like this, this is just the way I do it. Um, Everybody's got different methods, but I'll stand up here so I don't have to be underneath. Throw the chain over, drop the hook down on the back side of the T-bar, yep. and then the tail end on this side of the T-bar to start out with. Roughly, you can and then I'll, on both sides. just so you can reach the hook once you get down underneath it, then you can 
straighten it out. Okay. All right. And that's just gonna hook onto this. Yep. Just reach in here, and grab the, grab that hook with one hand, yep. and pull it as snug as you can. All right. Take the tail end right here and loop it over so that it's Drag pulling. It snugger or is that yep. okay? No, that's fine. Okay. And then take it back so that it's pulling into the throat of that hook. There you go. And on this little truck uh, with this tall suspension, you may have to wrap it like twice here. Okay. And then tie it off in this chain hook on the cap right there. Nope, nope. Put a full chain link. You always put a full chain link in. Yeah, never tip. That's what you call tip loading. Okay. You always put, there you go. And we'll uh, the excess. Uh, uh, if there's too much ac excess, you can either fold it up in there or we'll take a tarp strap and tie it up. Okay, now I'll pull it back in. I've got the steering wheel tied down. I'll show you how I did that in a minute, just for your uh, information training purposes. Okay, now grab the, these are the breakaway chains. Okay. We always put the breakaways on too, lift it up and put it over this roller and it'll help roll the chain out of that pocket. Don't get too carried away with it or it'll uh, pull it all the way out of the pocket. There you go. Now. You'll need more than that, I think. Yeah, you'll need quite a bit. You can always take the take the slack back in. All right. Go underneath the mud flap. Around the frame rail right here. And now here is where it is very important to me, all right? When you put the, put the chain hook in, you want it so that if it breaks loose, this chain is pulling into the throat of the hook. Okay, just like that, yep, exactly. Otherwise, if you turn it around, the chain will be pulling against that little bitty flimsy piece yeah. right there. Yeah. You always, want that. always want it pulling. So if it does, if it should break away, it'll grab into the throat of the hook the way that hook's designed to grab. Okay. All right. So give yourself some more slack. I need to take up a little, and you need to let out some. Yeah, I'll give us a little bit more play. There you go. And then you can always tie these up with bungees or uh, ratchet straps too, if you want to give yourself some more swing. But with this rear toe, we're fine. Okay, come here and I'll show you the steer axle. I've got two straps on it. Yep through opposite sides of the uh, handholds okay. to the base of the seat. You always want to go to a solid point on the seat. Okay. Like at first I almost grabbed that, that moves. You yeah, don't, that, that'll move, the that'll seat. move and you don't want that to move. You want it onto a solid right. portion of the seat. There's a crossbar there that I grabbed a okay. hold of. Yeah. Good solid crossbar. Right. And you don't have to crank it real tight. You just make sure that they're snug okay. so that the wheel doesn't move on you and that the straps don't come loose. Okay. Now, and that locks the steering wheel. Uh, this is a fairly new truck. It looks nice and clean, so we're going to guess that I, the steering wheel's straight. Yep. If it's not, we may have to adjust it after we start taking off. Okay. Now, one more thing we got to do. Actually, two. What do we got to have on the front of the truck? Should be in this rear box. Should be right back here, Dalton. There you go. Here, it's it's tied in and it's plugged in. Oop. 
You gotta unplug it. That that's the uh, charge the battery. It's got an internal battery, okay. and that's its charging port. So whenever you put it back up, you always be sure and put that charging port back in there. Okay. Oh, good deal. Got the good. Good mirrors. Well, no, it's got the good grill. Grill. Yeah. All right. Just take these loose. And put it up here on the far corners. Uh oh, where'd the other strap go? Should be another strap here. That'll work. And if there's a uh, ratchet strap in there, if I'm going any distance, I like to put a ratchet strap on there just to be safe. Because okay. bungees will, yeah, this will break on you. Again, just grab something good and solid back behind you. Or loop it back around, yep, like that. That'll work. All right. Turn it on. Yep. It goes through its systems check. All right, then you do a walk around, make sure everything's good okay. and solid. Right. And we'll check the check the lights on the bar. Since you're here with me, make sure those are good. Make sure the U-bolt cups are seated. Our chains are all in place. Tie downs and breakaways. We should be good to go. Uh, if you want to watch the back, I'll turn the uh, turn signals on and hit the brakes. Make sure that they, they're working right. Left turn. Right turn. Brake. Okay. We're good to go. that little black plug-in on the back by yeah. the chain that's what sends the signal okay you plug it in to where okay, you could take that plug out and put a regular uh, semi-trailer seven-way cord in yeah. that is a little radio frequency uh, transmitter mm -hmm. and it transmits the signals back to that light bar and the light bar has the receiver that's cool. all right, all right. We take it to Cummins yep Cummins in Sykeston and away we go drive. All right, we are here. Dalton has already started. I told him I'm just gonna have him reverse the process or at least most of it while I do some of the paperwork and we'll get out of here. Okay, so. You've got. Sorry, I had to take care of the paperwork. No, you're fine. Uh, paperwork's an important part of it too. Yep. All right, you got the light bar off. You got the steering wheel undone. Yep. You got the breakaway chains. You got yep. the safety chains off. Yep. So the only thing now is to let it down yep. and take those chains and put them away, and then we'll drive it and park it. Okay. Uh, get if you want to get the remote, the handheld remote, or we can do it with. The hand controls. I prefer using the remote control myself, but no. All right. Boom, Power boom. up the remote. You have to hold it. Push. Just push it once, okay. and then that yellow light comes on. On this remote, on this truck, if you push it twice it activates the green functions, okay. okay? You press it again, and it goes back to your white functions. Okay, okay so these top four buttons, top two slots, have dual functions, depending on which light is eliminated. Okay. Right now, you're on the white, which is just yep. your boom and underreach, okay? Tighten it down. Uh, actually, you wanna uh, 
push it out. Oh, you don't want to go out. Okay. I like to go out first. Keep going out. Okay. Take it out so that whenever you drop it, you can suck your underreach in and go ahead and have room to fold it up and not move your truck. Okay, so come all the way out with it. Depending on the weight, you don't want to overdo your underreach. Okay, that right there. That should be plenty okay. because your T head will come back to about here. Yep. You'll be you'll be fine. Okay. Now, take and boom down. You don't want to angle it down because you don't want to get into the bottom of your uh, shocks or your airbags. So I'm just going down. Just go not tilt down, boom down. Boom down. Boom down. Yep. I'm watching. You're good. Go ahead. Boom down. Now, we know that the brakes are locked. Okay? So, for right now, let its air suspension settle a little bit and let our air suspension settle a little bit. Probably come fully down with it. Nope. Okay. Not yet. That's why I said let, let both air yeah, suspensions. Yeah, I'm still going to come down. No, watch your feet because if you get it, if you don't have it just right, it'll break loose. See, that's why I said I want, wanted to let all the air systems settle out. That helps relieve some of the pressure. That one's still dropping pressure. I can actually reach up in there and dump it. We may end up having to, I'm not sure yet. Okay, airbags are still extended pretty good and you're on the ground here. So raise your boom up a little bit and I'll dump the bags on this. Key up. Ignition. Suspension dump. should have dumped the airbags but there's no weight on them so okay yeah it released the pressure up here yep go ahead and take these off thank you between having just enough pressure and too much. Okay. All right, at this point, the bags are still dumping a little bit. What, again, watch your feet. Do not have your feet anywhere near the yep. underreach. Go in and out just a little bit and you'll be able to tell where you are on the cups. Okay. No, okay. underreach in. Okay. Nope. Okay, go out a little bit because you can tell how it's pulling against it. Go out. There, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, see how everything just went free? Yep. Now, go, yeah. go straight down. Whoa, now, tilt down. You're on the pavement here, so tilt down. All right, tilt down. Boom up just a little bit. Boom up, okay, tilt down. All right, now, watch your cups. Make sure you're gonna clear, and then bring your uh, under each in. You go take the cups put them up here raise the boom boom up until the bottom keep going keep going i like to have the bottom about level with the bottom of this so it doesn't bottom out on anything yep pretty close and then fold up There you go. All the way up against the rubber socks. There you go. That's it. Then uh, turn it off, turn the remote off, and put it back in the charging station. Okay. And I'll go park this. We're good to go.
didn't fix itself on the way down still has power reduced due to SCR system fault. Already been inside and talked to the service manager. They said just put it in one of these spots here, leave the keys in it, and they would come check it out. All right. Decent learning experience for Dalton. He's still in the process of uh, getting his uh class a cdl permit uh he's not there yet but he's working on it uh he's still in the early training stages but he's doing quite well so far uh we've had a couple of big incidents uh he's had to work and he's done really good so anyway uh we're gonna head back home as always thank you for watching and god bless